Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I will be showing you my smallmouth box. That's an unboxing that's gonna happen. And, uh, I am doing a review on my smallmouth box. And, um, if you checked out my last video, you will see that I caught a three pound small. I didn't make that a video. I just showed a picture of it before the video started. But this is my smallmouth box. So first up, this is the liner that I think will work best. That's currently in it. Just a popper. I had a bass. I caught a bass late that night. The morning after, I caught a. Uh, I caught a. Uh, I caught my big smallmouth, three pound smallmouth. That wasn't on the popper because I had about a two pounder rip off my other popper. But right here, I have this popper. I think that would work well. Pretty good lighting. They like a popper and a jitterbug. The rest of this is just based off of what I've seen them having to eat. Next up, I have the Strike King. The Strike King, uh, Rage Swimmer, Swim Bait, and, uh, 3.25 inch, yeah, the bluegill pattern. I got a miniature trench hog to represent a crawdad. I've got a finesse worm. I got the um, flaps of a trench hog, a full size trench hog. You see that? I feel like if you just jig that on like a jig head, I have this on 1 16th ounce, but if you just jig it, that'll sit there and flap and look like a crawdad. That's just my theory. Next up, I have just one mallow dude. But it has a special pink trailer. Because they had a bunch of little sh like a bunch of little shiners. So I think this will work. And there's trout in there. So this would work for trout too. Just a little 16th ounce also. White color. Well I think it looks really like a male. This Next up is a Carl, I don't know the brand on this, or any of those soft plastics. The Popper, it was an Ozark Trail brand, which is a Walmart brand. This is a Carl's Amazing Baits, um, lipless crankbait, I don't know the actual name of it. Got, I think the packaging is over there. I don't know, it's a crawl pattern, lipless crankbait. Got some mustad hooks on it. Those can they these are really sticky. Next up, I'm am gonna add a jig to it. But uh next up I oh that's just a rooster pill. Next up I have this um two piece swim crank or something it's like a crankbait it's a jointed crankbait and bluegill pattern and they had a lot of bluegill and rock bass to eat well this looks more like a rock bass tell me what you what would you call that rock bass or bluegill i think that sort of looks like a rock bass they had a bunch of little rock bass and a bunch of little bluegill to eat those big small mouth so Look at that. I do not know the brand of this. Okay. This will go in with the popper. But. Keep in mind. I am going to add a jig. And I have the exact jig in mind. That I really hope. I don't lose. Because it's a $6 jig. Okay. Now for the unboxing. You will not get to see what it is. 
it's a Ozark Turtle, so Walmart brand. Gonna pop this up. Tells you tells you uh, how what kind of knots. It's just a simple fisherman's knot, but it does the um, the size of it, and you can probably tell what it is. And it's top water, but they really when you twitch them, rapid fire, like never stop. You just twitch and slow real. Then you get about three foot deep. And, uh, it's, it's a fourth ounce popper, baby last pattern, sort of closest color to what I was using that I had pulled off by a two pounder, but, you know, go ahead, pull that back, and boom. Here is what you're getting as a two dollar bait and uh, yeah got this like those stripe pattern sort of looks like my my uh the pa the popper that I was using sort of pattern got the uh, chartreuse hen sort of chartreuse green and then some lime green body black back red mouth and a uh, white belly, and it's spotted too, so I don't know what they're thinking, but I'll sort of just consider the bass pattern. But, uh, let me go grab that jig real quick that I'm planning on throwing in here. This will go with the other pop. Let me go grab that real quick. show you this drink that I just found out about. It's really good. They had it in grape and all sorts of different flavors. It was at my local Walmart. But this is the Guggen Squad Thick Flipping Jig. And uh, yeah, this it's going to have a difficult time to get snag because it has a wider brush guard and a thicker brush guard. Trust me, these smallmouth, they're not going to go after the brush. They're going to, like, they just grab it, but the way they grab it is they grab stuff by the head and they just force downstream with such force. Yes, I am going to be fishing your river. And I'm just going to put this 4 inch Senko for like a claw representation. That's the finished product. Now, so just sit there and flap around like claws. Their two main food sources, though, are bluegill. I don't know what it is, but I caught purebred bluegill. You don't see those very often. Maybe it's green sunfish or something, or some weird hybrid. But, uh,. This is a finished product. And this will be around the end of the video. 
but like I said, I am gonna show that a this really good drink it tastes better if it's cold. Cause I bought it just I just got out of Walmart. Where we go? I just got home. It's a Mountain Dew Kickstart. And where is that? It's Fruit Punch. It's an energy drink. Get it in the big can, Laura. My local Walmart has them as 99 cents a piece. <sighs> really good drink. They had them in great. Well, not many people got them. They were great. Plum. Fruit punch like I had. Black cherry. And they had like a... I don't know what the last flavor was. It was some kind of... I don't know what it was. I think it may have been mango. I'm pretty sure it was mango. But... Really good. But guys, that will be all for today. Uh, this will be all for this video. I may post another one after this one. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And make sure to share this video. And help me grow this YouTube channel. And I'm just going to be posting one or two videos a day, every other day, so, so, don't get upset, I'm, I'm gonna post a second one today, but, the day after tomorrow, I don't know if I'm gonna post one or two yet, but, make sure, I already told you this, but, Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and be sure to share this video. And uh, make sure you, make sure you stay tuned. And the ne this video will be up in like ten minutes after I made it, and about. 30 minutes, so 20 minutes after this one, this one comes up, I will post another one, I will work on one, post it, and then 10 minutes after that, so, see ya!